three, two, one, go. Crazy how I came up in this game and then I ran them up. It's Larry Johnson Jr., LJ, J. Lonker, all on them trucks. I stand insanely on it, bro. I love to gain a customer. I mainly maintain what I must. I earn a trust off of the bucks. I'm blessing them with beauty cuts and placing them on YouTube. Cause I'm trying to get subscriptions up. I'm driven by ambition, bro. I'm all about integrity. You should never compare to me unless you wanna see how deep your insecurity can be. I'm rolling so low in these streets and all I know is to live free I'm full of peace but when it come to like her boy I am a beast I never leave until it's clean I get them weeds and everything I throw some seeds and motion leaves and trim them trees and charge them fees and yes I am the king of string I said exactly what I mean you see the way I do my thing them edges squared and crispy clean then if you haven't did it yet go ahead and like subscribe and share and best believe that LJJ like Harris gonna be right there welcome welcome to welcome. South City South, South City South, South, South City South, 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 Real quick, I'm finna go out on this quote. So, where you going? What you doing? What you got going on, Shadow? Don't start all. Don't start putting on freak acts. You got your armor on. Now you just think you hard. Relax. It's gonna be okay. Anyway, um, so I'm on my way to a quote. The property is six minutes away, as you can see. So basically. If this doesn't work, it'll be like I just wasted 14 minutes of my life. You believe in wasting time, Shadow? I ain't got no time to waste. What about you, man? Probably not, huh? Nah, you don't. I can tell you don't. You have a lot of stuff to do, Shadow. You have thousands of things to do in a day. Snip around, check your P-mail. Whenever you go on a walk, eat your food and sleep. You know, there, there's more to life to this than just doing that and humping. You know, come on now. I use Google Maps and I use the label. I label all my customers on Google's map. So what I want to say today is that I hardly go out to give quotes unless it's a suitable property and customer for my business, period. It ain't no such thing as me going out, ripping and running and just keep on moving her and moving her and, and, say, and then hearing the words no or not getting no response. So the way I set up my business, just seriously, hear me out. This is how I do. I send out a text message to any potential customer who is interested in joining my schedule to November 30th. I don't take any customers who's not joining the schedule until November 30th. And you can extend from there if you want to. You can have an extension. They know that inside the pre-quote. I send off a pre-quote. When they answer the questions, it's saying that, hey, we qualify for your services. It automatically sets the tone. Nothing but text messages. Nothing but text messages. There are a list of qualifications that must be approved in order for me to come out to give this free quote. One, are you willing to accept the bottom line of $50? I don't pull up on a property unless I'm charging $50. There's no such thing as 40 or 35, 25, stuff like that. It's $50 bottom line. A potential customer won't even text me back unless they already agreed to that ideology of the $50 bottom line price. So that's one thing. So now that creates an incentive for me to proceed to give out the free quote. Two, do you have a hill? If they have a hill, I don't want it. Three, if it's a corner property, a corner lot, I don't want it. 
The reason why I don't take corner lots is because it takes me longer to do a corner lot probably than the average individual. I'm big on time, y'all. A corner lot probably take me 30 minutes, y'all. 30 minutes. I'm used to cutting grass within uh, 12 to 17 minutes, 20 minutes tops. Like, okay, that I can cut like three to four properties in an hour with that type of time limit. With a corner lot, $65 in 30 minutes, you know, it's more work it's, and, it's, and it takes longer. I just don't like that. So, are you located in South City? Yes. Okay. Do you have any hills? No. No hills. Do you have any dogs? Yes or no? I accept customers that have dogs. Um, I was thinking about at one point not accepting customers with dogs, but I said, nah. Like I said, I just talked to them about cleaning up the dog poop or anything like that. But right now, you guys are going to experience a series of multiple videos, short videos like this, that aims to show you how to create an efficient business. So I'm almost there. It looks like I'll be there in two minutes. And this is South City, St. Louis, too, y'all. This is South City. So to reiterate, what you want to do is set yourself up so you don't have to keep ripping and running. So I really became this way when I was consistently getting uh, real estate investors who would ask me to do quotes for multiple properties. And I end up getting frustrated with it. First of all, when I find out that I'm dealing with a real estate investor, I let them know I'm not a W-2 worker. You know, that's for their tax forms or whatever. I give out receipts. I'm 1099, self-employed, self-contract. You know. But yeah. What are you doing, Shadow? Oh, you're not car sick no more? That's good. That's great, man. Congratulations. He was car sick and everything, but now he's ready to rock and roll. My dog is not a nice dog, y'all, so stay away from the vehicles. This is a, a disclaimer for any crackheads, meth addicts, PCP smokers, anybody that think that there's something valuable inside this vehicle, it is nothing valuable. I just have a dog that will try to do bodily harm to you. It's not even worth the risk. So anyway, I'm pulling up at the place now, 77, 28. Okay, so here we go. Now arriving, I'm gonna check out this property and see if it makes it makes the cut. I'm um, looking at it so far. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's flat, everything. Now, one thing, another thing I might include into my quotes, my pre-quote, if you're a fence, if you have a 36 inch fish gate. So let me check out this property right quick to see if I can get my Toro inside the back gates. There's a huge opening gate right here, but the only way to find out is to find out. Right, Shadow? Got to get up and check it out. So let me check it out right quick and we'll go from there. Take measure. I'll be right back. That's a bus. So now on, what I'm gonna do is ask inside the pre-quote is if you have a 37 inch gate or better. If they say no, then I can't take them. If they don't know, I'll come out to give a quote. It's just that simple. Plain and simple, y'all. Like I say, I don't come out unless I'm actually coming out to get a property. This is a day where I came out to get a property to add to the schedule and it didn't, it disqualified. Yes, looks is deceiving because I can get the lawnmower into the front gate, but I can't get it to, into that side gate. I can't get the tour row back there and the backyard is relatively large. So what I do is send a text to the potential customer informing them that I cannot place their property on the schedule due to the fact that they have smaller gates and I can't fit my 36 inch tour row inside it just that simple thank y'all for watching i hope you guys enjoy these videos make sure y'all like and subscribe and i will be
creating a playlist for the series of efficiency check it out but until then check out um my playlist or whatever i'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute peace this is ljj's line <laughs> I'll be there in a jiffy to make your lawn be crispy and square. This is LJJ's lawn care. My prices are so thrifty, you might just want to tip me, I'm rare. This is LJJ's lawn care. Whether it's scorching or it's nippy In the morning I will swiftly be there This is LJJ's Lion Care Just call me if you need me No stalling, 